How trade-ups really work in CSGO. It's 2023 and I still see people being clueless about how trade-ups really work, but don't worry guys, I got you. Now if you play CSGO, you probably heard about trade-ups. Basically it means that you put 10 skins of a certain quality in a contract and get one skin of the next higher quality. So when I add 10 blue skins of the cobblestone collection, I'm guaranteed to get one purple cobblestone skin. But where it gets interesting is when I mix the collections I am using, because some people think that when you put 50% of collection collection A and 50% of collection B, the odds will always be 50-50. But that's wrong. Because the fact of deciding your odds is actually how many skins of the next higher quality are available in the collections you are using. I will show you a quick example. When I add 9 skins of a case collection like the Snakebite collection which has 5 purple skins in it and 1 skin of the Cobblestone collection which only has 2, I only have a 4.26% chance of actually hitting the Cobblestone collection. But when I add 9 skins of the Train collection, with only one purple and one cobble skin, I end up with 18.18% chance of hitting the cobblestone collection. That's because the train collection has one of the cheapest and best filler skins in a millspec area. Also, every skin has a float value and the average of all your float values is applied on the skin you get, but going in depth right here makes no sense because you can always use a trade-up simulator to double check the real odds you have when doing trade-ups. For this I recommend tradeupspy.com where you can calculate all your trade-ups and you can can also go to the filler skins tab where you find the best fillers for every quality you want. Did this video help you out? Tell me in the comments and if you enjoyed watching subscribe and like for more news and interesting stuff about Counter-Strike. See ya!